God, for how there's never been a day that you left me hanging. Yes, God. Hallelujah. There's Hallelujah. never been a time that you came up short. Amen. Everything that I God. need, you Amen. continuously supply. You. you have a plan for me. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you make a way for me. Yes, you God. open doors yes, for Lord. me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You give me yes, hope. God. And yes, you Lord. give me strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In different hey. ways, God. You've been my supply. Yes, Hallelujah. There Hallelujah. is none like you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And I love you Thank today. You, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so grateful yes. today, God, that you chose me with no reason. Hallelujah. No inclination. There was nothing special. Yes, there was God. nothing that I did to earn Hallelujah. your appreciation, to, to gain your yes, attention. God. But God, you yes, looked God. Yes, in the midst of all Thank of your you people and you God. put your hand yes, on my yes, life. God. God. Yes, Hallelujah. You Hallelujah. called me worthy. Yes, Hallelujah. You decided that I was yes, worth saving. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. You decided that I was worth keeping. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You decided that I was worth dying yes, for. Yes, and then you gave your life for yes, me. Hallelujah. And you did it by your own love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I didn't even have enough sense to ask for Hallelujah. it, and you did Hallelujah. it for me. I didn't have enough sense Thank to you seek God. you, Thank but you, you found me in the midst Thank of my God. mess. God. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. you kept me when I couldn't keep myself. God. Hallelujah. And you Thank held you. on to me when I wanted to let go. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank you for your faithfulness and your love towards me. Hallelujah. If it had not been for you being on my side, hallelujah, I can't imagine where I would be. My worst nightmare couldn't describe life without you. Hallelujah. Without your hand, without your voice, without your touch, without your love, without your kindness, without your care. Hallelujah. You're the best Speak to our hearts and our minds and our understanding. Change us with your very words. Hallelujah. Reconstruct us and make us something that we could never have imagined. That world hasn't seen. Hallelujah. The eyes haven't understood or uh, comprehended. Hallelujah. Do something special. Hallelujah. Use us in your own way. Hallelujah. We'll give you the glory, the honor, and praise in Jesus' name. And I thank you one more time. Amen. 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 I love Jesus. Hallelujah. I love Jesus. I thank God for him on today. Hallelujah. He gave me a day. Hallelujah. He gave me a day. Look, look, I, I, I'm changing. I'm changing my language. I'm changing the atmosphere by the words I speak. Hallelujah. God gave me a day. Why would I worry about what's happening in the day? When God gave me a day. Yeah, yeah, yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I say he gave me a Hallelujah. day. Hallelujah. 24 hours that have never Hallelujah. happened before. He has oh, opened up opportunity beyond what I, I don't even know what's going to happen on today. I, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to I might run outside and find a bag of gold. I have no idea what's going to happen. But God threw me into today. Mm -hmm. yes. Somebody, somebody yes, was wanting today. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> they didn't make it. They didn't make. They were, they were begging God, please God, please God, let me make it to the day, and and didn't make it out of yesterday. But God brought me to not because I was strong enough. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But He brought me out of my yesterday into my today. Thank for you, that, he's, I give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For that, I give, if I'm hungry on today, I'm giving him praise. Amen. Amen. If I'm broke on today, I'm giving him praise. If I'm sick on today, I'm giving him praise. If I'm tired on today, I'm giving him praise. If I'm weak on today, I'm giving him praise. If everything is going wrong, I'm giving him praise. If everybody turned their back on me, I'm giving him praise. If people lied on me and rejected me and cheated me, I'm giving him praise. Hallelujah. Because he did Turn around. It might be late in the midnight hour. Hallelujah. But God knows how to turn it around and make it work 
in my favor. I wish I had some folks right now that didn't mind being crazy with me on this morning. Hallelujah. That appreciated the day that God gave me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He's a wonder in my soul. Hallelujah. Thank you for that dance, brother. Thank you. Hallelujah. I, I need some folk that, 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 that will show a sign. Yes, yes, yes. That will show a sign. Yes. Hallelujah. We, we we do a great job of complaining. Yeah. But our yeah. praise sucks tell, sometimes. Tell. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. When, when, when something goes wrong, we got all the energy in the world to tell you how bad it is. Oh, yeah. oh it's terrible. Oh, I'm going through. Oh, it hurts. Oh, I'm crying. Oh, I'm sad. Hallelujah. But when God make a way, yes. hallelujah, when he opens up a door, when he opens up a window, when he brings yes. you out yes. and he brings you through, yes. and then you say, bitter path, bitter path. Good, good job, good job, Jesus. Good job, that's good. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I know y'all don't want to go with me there, but I'm, I'm there. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's 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 a it's a bad. I'm gonna get to my message in a minute, but it's a bad reflection on our testimony of who God is in our lives. Hallelujah, when we don't give him glory. Yeah, amen. amen. Hallelujah, when we don't give Hallelujah. him glory. It's bad. I, I was at a service and, and the brother brother uh, forgot to acknowledge his wife. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. the, the brother had got up and he was preaching and he did his whole thing and, and said all he had to say. And, and, and everybody said, Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> he didn't acknowledge his wife. He did all of that, and he didn't even he didn't even say thank God for my wife. <laughs> that's, all, that's all they wanted him to say. I they probably can't remember three things he said in his wow, sermon, wow. but they but they know. Ooh, <laughs> that's crazy. He didn't he didn't acknowledge his wife. Wow. He didn't say I thought he was gonna say it at the end. People were trying to rip him. Oh. He said, oh. <laughs> say call your wife. They're trying to do that, trying to help them out because it was so important. But but, but this, is what, this is what I'm trying to say, and it was important. And I did tease him afterwards because he didn't. All right. But, but, uh, uh, yeah, I told him he wasn't going to uh, have a nice night. But anyway, uh, uh, but, but here's, the, here's the thing. We, we come into God's house. We come into God's house. We drag ourselves into God's house. We slide into God's house, stay there, do everything, eat. Get fed and all of that stuff like that, and don't give him glory. Amen. Don't don't even acknowledge him uh, uh, to the degree that he's worthy Amen. in our own house. Hallelujah. Let me go into Marquis's house and speak to everybody but Marquis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we got hairy chested type men around here. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> let me go. To, let me go to Greg's house. Speak to everybody. Walk past him. <laughs> hey, Tawana, how are you doing? <laughs> Bounce the kids on my lap and then leave. <laughs> See what I'm trying to say? Stuff be hitting me on the way out the door. Yeah. <laughs> Hot red stuff. <laughs> Hot red stuff. Hot red stuff. Yeah? Oh. Huh? You met your husband? I have. Oh, okay. <laughs> But, but but we we so bold yeah. to come into God's house. Look, look, why we come to God's house and wait to be entertained mm -hmm. and pumped up and encouraged to yeah. praise the God that made us walk into the house. Yeah, that's Amen. That's yeah. Yeah. We come in, we got we gotta come in and see what the service is gonna be like. Mm -hmm. we, we we actually come in like we did God a favor. Yep, yep. Jesus, <laughs> you know, well, I gotta go to church. You know, I don't want to disappoint the Lord. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm going to be late, but that's okay. I'm trying to change the atmosphere. Trying to change. And I think we sweat myself to death trying to get y'all to be encouraged and, and, and you ain't even believing in the God that you know. Because you came with a different expectation. All right. Our message for today. I'm still talking about you. I came ready. You know, I was sick. I was sick this week. I was, I was so sick. You, 
You know when you're sick, sick? When you're really sick? Mm -hmm. You start thinking about heaven. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, so God, before I go to sleep, <laughs> let's make sure some things are in order. <laughs> huh? Yeah. That kind of sick. Yeah, that's a different kind of sick. That kind of sick. Not, not like I got a toothache. <laughs> but like the kind of sick, like I don't know. So look. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> right list. <laughs> last week, I did this. Uh huh. <laughs> and that other time, I didn't really repent, but <laughs> I was sorry. <laughs> and uh, if it's some stuff that I forgot about, I just don't want us to have no issues. Right. <laughs> In case I don't wake up. Right. You know. I do have that. Look, I want to be saved. I love it. <laughs> you understand what I'm trying to say? So anything we need to talk about, <laughs> let's bring it out on the table tonight. <laughs> get a, get a clear the air between us. So everything is in order before I go to sleep. Because if I should die before I wake, <laughs> I pray the Lord <laughs> my soul. When, when, when you sick sick like that, you understand what I'm trying to say? When you sick sick like that, it tests your resolve. It tests your resolve. Y'all understand that kind of sick, right? When you broke. Anybody ever been broke before? Amen. <laughs> When you so broke, you can't count how broke you are. <laughs> like, like if somebody say, how broke are you? And you don't know. Like somebody say, how much money you need to not be broke? And you don't even know that number. If I, if I wanted to pay all of your bills off to the dollar right now, how much is that? About sixty thousand. <laughs> See what I'm trying to say? When you don't know that number, then you broke, broke. You broke till you don't know the number. You you know when when you in a, a in a condition like that, then then that condition makes you give yourself a new name. You start calling yourself stuff like sick, like broke, like depressed, like weak, like sad. You start calling yourself stuff that you shouldn't call yourself because it ain't who you are. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the Bible. Maybe that'll work better with y'all. <laughs> Romans chapter 4. <clears throat> Let's read a scripture or two. Mm -hmm. We had prayer, but we didn't have the scripture. Somebody say scripture. Scripture. Scripture is found in Romans chapter 4. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see. That's chapter 4. Um, I'm going to go down to the 7th verse uh, and, and read a bit. Y'all with me? Yeah. Romans chapter 4, verse 7 mm -hmm. says, saying, Blessed are those whose iniquities are, cover, are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Y'all with me there? Mm -hmm. Blessed is the man uh, to whom the Lord will not impute sin. Cometh this blessedness then upon the circumcision only or upon the uncircumcision also? For we say that faith was reckoned to Abraham for righteousness. Mm -hmm. Y'all there? Mm -hmm. Tenth verse. How was it then reckoned? When he was in circumcision or in uncircumcision? Not in circumcision, but in uncircumcision. Now that's kind of King James. Yeah, yeah. He said, how, how did we know that Abraham was righteous? Mm -hmm. When was he made righteous? Was he made righteous when he was circumcised? Or was he made righteous before he was circumcised? 
And he said, he said he wasn't made righteous when he was circumcised. He was made righteous before he was circumcised. Are y'all there? Yeah. And he received the sign, the sign of circumcision, mm -hmm. a seal of the righteousness of the faith which he had when he was uncircumcised. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He received the circumcision was a sign yeah. Yeah, yeah. of the righteousness that he had by faith yeah, yeah. when he was yet uncircumcised. The circumcision was a sign yeah. of the righteousness that he had mm -hmm. by faith. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not by deed. Right. Hallelujah. All right. I can imagine. Not by reality, as we say. Mm -hmm. So so the, the righteousness that he had, he had by faith, not by what he had done, but what he believed. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 12th verse, and, and the father of circumcision to them who are not of the circumcision only, but also who walk in the steps of the faith mm -hmm. of our father Abraham, which he had being yet uncircumcised. 13th, for the promise that should be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, but through the righteousness of Faith. Good, good. But through the righteousness of? Faith. For if they which are of the law be heirs, faith is made void. Right. And the promise be made of none effect. Mm -hmm. Because the law worketh wrath, for where there is no law, there's no transgression. Mm -hmm. 16th verse. Therefore it is of faith that it might be by grace, to the end the promise might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but that also which is of faith of which is of the faith of Abraham, mm -hmm. who is the father of us all. Right. What is the faith of Abraham? The faith that was uh, given to him of the righteousness by faith mm -hmm. before he was circumcised. Right. Right. That's the faith that we that we are in, that we received it before we became it. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Are y'all there? Mm -hmm. Then what verse am I on? Good, you're paying attention. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations. Before him whom he believed, even God, who quickened the dead and calleth those things which be not as though they were. That's the part I want to focus on. Y'all know that verse? Calleth those things which be not as though they were. 18. Who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. Mm -hmm. 19. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead mm -hmm. when he was about a hundred years old, yeah. neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Right. He staggered not at the promise of God mm -hmm. through unbelief, yeah. but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. 21, and being fully persuaded that he what had promised was able to perform. Being fully persuaded that the one that made the promise was able to perform it. Being fully persuaded that the one that had made the promise was able to perform it. Not being deterred by his lying condition. Right. There you go. Yes. Hallelujah. The problem that we have is that we're basing our, our, our reality on our current condition. Amen. Amen. And our current condition is inaccurate. Yeah. Right. Amen. True. Okay. Amen. Your current condition is lying to you. Yes. Okay. Amen. Just like Abraham's current condition was lying to him. Yes. So when God spoke to Abraham... <laughs> That, that thing that we, that scripture that we misuse all the time, you know, speaking those things that be not right. right. We tear that scripture up. We don't even try to get a context on that scripture. We just abuse it and make it our own. Isogeet it. Amen. And make it whatever we want it to be. He said, I'm calling the thing that be not as though it was. How? 
Because God called Abraham the father of many nations, yeah, yeah. and he had no children. Right. Come on. Yeah. Hallelujah. How can I be a father right. of many nations, mm -hmm. and I don't even have one child? Right. Come on. Hey. And, and see, what happens is yes. you start trying to rationalize and logicalize that thing, yes. and you explain yourself yes. right out of the promise. Woo! You explain yourself right out of the plan. Mm -hmm. Guys, I got a plan for you. What's the plan, God? You're going to be the father of many nations. Ha, ha, ha. What was the problem? What was the problem with Abraham receiving a word from the Lord? God speaks a word in our life. We should be able to receive it. But when you're talking about me being a father of many nations, and I'm now a hundred. The scripture says his body was now dead. Yep, it is. It is. Yep. Maybe, you know, Rachel Mama used to explain to us about, right. I can't talk about that yeah. right now. But she was saying, you know, he dead. Right. I'll tell y'all about that later. <laughs> Abraham, Abraham, Abraham had a condition. Mm -hmm. He couldn't call Roman. Yeah, I didn't get that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I gotta get I gotta speak in tongues so I get the right interpretation. <laughs> when when a man gets to a certain age, mm -hmm. things he used to do, okay. he don't do no more. Yeah. <laughs> the apostles say can't do no more. That's a lying condition. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta get Roman. Yeah. Google it, man. Yeah, yeah Google it. Too. Yes, <laughs> brothers, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Get Roman. You gotta get Roman. Because that's what you gotta Google. And, and and so when you get Roman, it help you to not be dead. Right. And, and, and Abraham was described as being dead because he was a hundred and didn't have no Roman. And, 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 and since he was a hundred and didn't have no Roman, wasn't going to be no sons. Right, right. Yet, even though God was speaking something that didn't make sense in his life, he didn't let his life define him. It's, it's, it's a thing it's a thing that eats away at your faith because no matter how bad you might feel like your current condition is, God doesn't see you there. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't matter how bad your current condition is, God doesn't see you there. Amen. Therefore, he doesn't call you where you are. Amen. He, not, he calls you what you will be mm -hmm. because you are what you will be. Right. Yes. You just don't see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Not at all. Amen. So even though you are 100 with no kids, you're still the father of many nations. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Here we are, 4,000 some years later. Is Abraham the father of many nations? Yes. yes. Did God lie? No. no. Did Abraham see it? No. But, but God didn't lie. And so God did exactly what God said he was going to do. Yeah. He, 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 got, he got all of the Jews. He got the, the 12 tribes of Israel. He got the Muslims. And he got me too. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Me too. And, and you too. Amen. And he did all of that. And, and, and nation, they hadn't even been across the Atlantic Ocean. Right. True. But got me. Abraham, Abraham became exactly what God said he was because he was whatever he became. Yep. Yeah. True. But he only was that because he had faith enough to be that then. Mm -hmm. Amen. If, if he would have rejected what God said, then 
he never would have become what he was. If he, if he would have said, uh, no, I ain't. <laughs> that ain't King James. Y'all understand that. <laughs> you the father of many nations. No, I ain't. You're going to have a son in the name of Isaac. No, I ain't. How about that? Mm -hmm. If he would have went to Tarsus. <coughs> no, I ain't. See, there's, there's a disobedience that can walk you right out of promise. Oh, see, yeah. what, 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 they want, what, what they want me to say is that they want me to say that no matter what I do, no matter how I live, somewhere along the line, God is going to bring me to this place and make it happen for me. Let me tell you how wrong you are. Because it's important that you know how wrong you are. If, 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 if you was right, then no one would go to hell. Because somewhere along the way, God would bring them into the place that they're supposed to be and make sure that they don't go to hell. And see, that's your hope for making it to happen, and you're going to be sadly disappointed one day when you lift up your eyes. Your disobedience can walk you right out of promise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's some stuff, yeah. I, I don't care. There's some stuff that God has spoken over your life that if you don't choose to obey it, yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's That's true. Real. Amen. Amen. salvation wouldn't have worked That's right. if Jesus would have been disobedient. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he had the power to do it. Yeah. Israel would still be in Egypt. If Moses wouldn't have delivered him. Mm -hmm. And he had the power to do it. Mm -hmm. God wasn't holding him by the collar saying, you better get in there. Right. <laughs> you heard what I said, get in there and tell Pharaoh. <laughs> God didn't make him do it. And God didn't make you do it. Right. And, and, if, and if the same God that didn't make you do whatever it took to get you to where you are right now, ain't going to make you do the rest. That's, that's why you get stuck on the level. Huh. Amen, amen. You know, I think I'm preaching real amen. good this morning. <laughs> that's, why, that's why you can get stuck in a place. That's why, that's why those potholes and pitfalls and things are so dangerous because you can get depressed and get depressed and stay in your depression and, and sleep away your season. Yep. That's real. You just, you just sat up in here and been depressed and depressed, and they done cheated you out of your season. Amen. Because because you still depressed. Then then it's time for harvest. You say, "Well, I want to harvest too." No. <laughs> you done missed your whole sowing season. What was wrong? But I was going through stuff. The Lord understand. I was going through stuff. He sure do. <laughs> he sure do understand. And now you're going through a no, winter with no harvest. Yeah, that's true. So you better go through something else. Mm -hmm. You better get thee up. That's King James. <laughs> get thee up from this place and go to another which I shall sow thee. Your condition is lying to you. Yes, amen. And, and because your condition is lying to you, it'll make you abandon the word. Amen. It'll make you abandon the word. So I said earlier about being sick sick. Mm -hmm. And so because you sick sick, you preparing to be sick. Mm -hmm. You ain't preparing to be well. Mm -hmm. All right, son. Yeah, Come on. That's, that's real. Well, I'm sick. Well, I'm sick today. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna be sick forever. That's right. 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 What am I gonna do when I get out of sick? Well, I don't know how long I'm going to be sick. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a long time. Because you got a plan for being sick. <laughs> Ooh, wait, come on. Because you don't have a plan for being healed. <laughs> you don't have a deliverance plan. That's good. You don't have a plan yeah. of what it's going to be like when this is over. All right. Right. You ain't even thinking about it. No. Yeah. It's not on your mind. You know what's on your mind? Being sick. 
And all sick does is occupies your mind and makes you think about the sickness. Right, right, right. Okay. Yes, it does. That's true. All um, pain does is occupy your mind and make you think about the pain. Mm -hmm. So 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 when you get so consumed with how sick you are, you say, "How you doing?" Oh, I hurt. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, I'm nauseous. Oh, my head. Oh, huh? I'm sorry. <laughs> Brother, apologize. Mm. It's the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, get, you get consumed with your condition. Amen. Right. You, you get so consumed with your condition that you, you forget that you're not going to be like this always. Right. Amen. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was telling the story about I was playing for the Bulldogs and, uh, and Big Heavy. Some of y'all know Heavy. You don't. You, I'll show you Heavy later. But but Harry is a big brother. He's smaller than he used to be, and he's still big. Amen. And uh, and uh, we were playing with Bulldogs. I was playing center. He played right guard. Amen. And uh, we were in this game. I remember the game. It was in Jackson, Michigan. And we were in this game. And boy, I was going. And and he was right here on my right. And and I stepped out to block. And he stepped the same way. And when he stepped, he stepped his foot down on my toe. Mm -hmm. On my big toe. And when he stepped on my big toe, my whole toenail kicked up like this. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Like, it used to be a toe down like that. It kicked up like this. And I felt it kick up. And it was like the first quarter of the game. And I was saying to myself, ah! <laughs> And then I said it louder. And then, uh, but, but what, what happened was I kept playing the game. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I never went to the sideline. I never took my shoe off to look at my toe. Mm -hmm. I knew the toenail was broke. Mm -hmm. I knew it was probably ugly, nasty, and messy in there. Mm -hmm. But I also knew if I looked at my toe, mm -hmm. there's no way I would be able to finish the game. Because the toe would be on my mind for the rest of the game. So what I did is I told my mind, ignore that toe <laughs> for the next three quarters. Pretend like you ain't even got no big toe and play this game at a high level against one of the best teams you ever played in your life. I mean, your whole day. And, and, and I got out there and I played the rest of the game with the toe messed up. By the time I got in the locker room, the toe didn't even hurt. I think the toe went in the shock. <laughs> it, was, it was just bad. And I mean, and, and, and I took the shoe off and it was like the whole sock was just red. I mean, you know, just, I had to like peel the sock off. Yeah. You understand what I'm trying to say? And, and it, was, it was just as bad when it happened at the game. Right, right. It didn't get worse. It was just how bad it was. Right, right. But I played the game. Right. Now, watch this. Flip that around and say, I got a toenail that's broke. Mm -hmm. So I can't play the game today. Mm -hmm. See how silly I sound? <laughs> if, if I said, if I called my coach and say, hey coach, I know we got a game, but my toenail is broke. Uh -huh. So I can't play. Do you know how many cuss words my coach will say? <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? My coach will not say goodbye. I mean, he was going to say a lot of cuss words. <laughs> you know, do you know what my teammates would say about me? Do you know what they would still be saying about me 20 years later? About remember that time that Gun couldn't play in the game because his toenail was broke. Uh, <laughs> you can't even say I'm not gonna play because I got a broke toenail. To but in the midst of the game, the toenail was the worst thing imaginable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. What happened is if I would have broke the toenail first and believed that the toenail was so bad mm -hmm. that I couldn't play. 
I never would have gotten in the game. Mm -hmm. But since I was in the game, I was able to complete the game and play on a high level, even though the toenail was lying to me and telling me that I couldn't play. Mm -hmm. It's the same toenail. It's the same condition. It's just a matter of what I believe. Y'all don't want to say amen because you don't want to accept responsibility for your toenail lying to you. You don't want you don't want to accept. See, see, some things that are really bad are not as bad as you think they are. And, and because you are so concerned about how bad they are, you want to tell us about how bad it is rather than work through it. You don't you don't want to deal with the situation. So, so you would rather use the toenail, just the toenail, just your little broken toe, not a leg, right. mm -hmm. not an arm, a toenail. Something that's gonna grow back. Has no <laughs> nerves. <laughs> you don't feel toenails. No. Mm -hmm. But it looks so bad. Mm -hmm. I can't play. Mm -hmm. In your situation. Looks so bad. There's no way I can get out of this. There's no way I can get over it. It's just, it's, I just need to quit. That thing lying to you. That thing lying to you. You let a toe dictate your victory. Conte Kente, y'all heard him. Conte Kente was, was, was uh, he, he was, he said, I, I don't like slavery. And so, what I'm going to do is run back to Africa. You know, he was going to do the Peter. And walk on water. Because he was not going to just run from the plantation. He was going to keep running till he got back to Africa. He had to go somewhere. So, wherever he was running, he was going to run till he got there. And so, and so the master said, Master said, what I'm going to do is cut your toes off. Mm -hmm. All of them. Mm -hmm. So he put his foot on the block and he took an axe mm -hmm. and he cut everything from the instep down. Mm -hmm. Off. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. Here's a cane. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your life being a slave. And he was he was mad. He was he was hurt. He, he was devastated because the master cut his toes off. And and this is what he said when y'all go back and watch the movie. This is what he said. Coach Kente was in roots credit to Alex Haley. Okay, all right. <laughs> this is what's gonna happen when, when he go back and watch the movie. He said he was he was so hurt and disappointed because I can't run no more. Master did this to me. He he broke his whole Mandinka warrior will mm. by just cutting off his toes. Mm. What wonder what wonder what little insignificant thing God has cut off in your life or the enemy has cut off in your life that 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 now you just gave up. Well, I can't now. I ain't got no toes. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't now. I'm a hundred. Right. Well, I can't now. I'm sick. Mm -hmm. I didn't cut off his toes. And it, it said, so God blessed him. I'm going to get some amens and I watch this. <laughs> so, so God blessed him and he gave him a wife. Okay. See, I told you. I told you I was going to get some amen. God blessed him and gave him a wife. His wife helped nurse his foot. And when she nursed his foot, and then she also, she made him, because wives, good wives, Proverbs 31 type women, I'm telling you, they know how to find solutions for you. So this wife was so brilliant. She made a boot for him. She made a boot that had toes. <laughs> that is amazing. She, she made a boot and put toe in it. So when his, his nub hit them toes, it was like he had a whole foot. And, and then when he put that boot on and he felt that toe on the end of his, then he was able to walk. 
Mm -hmm. All the and, and when he started walking, he started smiling. Mm -hmm. And he started smiling and laughing. Mm -hmm. And the wife was clapping for him. Mm -hmm. As he said, you happy because you can walk. Mm -hmm. Cooper said, no, nah, <laughs> I can run. <laughs> <laughs> now, all it took was just put the toes, and now he realized he could run again. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. He always could run. When his toes was off, he, he could still run. He just didn't believe he could run because he had been uh, handicapped by the toes being cut off. But all he needed was a boot with a toe in it, and he could run. <laughs> Your situation is just like that. You, you got some things, some obstacles to your situation, but that doesn't mean you can't do it. But you believe you can't do it because you consumed with the obstacle. Rather than the solution. Amen. This is what your condition does to you. It lies to you and makes you pay more attention mm -hmm. to the condition yeah. than you do to the solution. Amen. That's true. How will I get out of this? Right. Look at people that have some lying condition. There was a woman with the issue of blood. The woman with the issue of blood had an issue of blood for how long? Long time. And then she had, she had an issue for a long time. She spent all the money. She went to all the physicians. She did all of that stuff like that. But then she said she did not hear from a prophet. Right. Amen. There was no priest that gave her an edict. The Lord did not descend from heaven and speak a word into her life. Nobody sent her a Facebook text. Mm -hmm. She said, mm -hmm. if I can touch, right. the, the hem of his garment, what's going to happen? Mm -hmm. When she got to Jesus, mm -hmm. without permission, mm -hmm. she grabbed hold to said him. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, I felt. Mm -hmm. He didn't say, I sent mm -hmm. healing. I felt healing leave me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he didn't say, I want to heal somebody right. with an issue. Right. Come on. Somebody with an issue said, I need healing, snatching it up out of you. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a different way of thinking. Yes. <laughs> what, what if we look like that? What if we thought yeah. like that? Rather than sitting in the corner, sucking our thumb, right. crying, and saying, God won't help me. Right. Yeah. What if we went up on some things and, and, and compelled yeah. God to move on our behalf? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all are so standing yeah. with that man this morning. I said, what if we compel God to move up to the point that God said, I got to do something. Lame man, it was a lame man that was sitting there by the pool. He called himself lame. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and he stayed there a long time mm -hmm. because he believed he was lame. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. but, but what he needed to change his situation was always present. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, so close. So close. I, I'm, I'm, why are you bringing these miracles, Canon? I'm bringing these miracles because Jesus didn't do it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jesus didn't turn and lay hands on the woman with the issue of blood and say, "Oh, sha na 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 na." Right. <laughs> ah la 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 la, come on out. Right. Ah ya 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 ya. Amen. Jesus didn't do that. No, he didn't. Jesus didn't anoint. The lame man with, with his feet with oil, amen, and slap him and, and just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was necessary to change their condition was there. Right. Amen. When she was spending all her money, it, it was there. Amen. The answer was the same when she was going to the physician. That's true. She just hadn't figured out the answer yet. Right. When he was sitting by the pool, the answer was the same. Yes. Uh, okay, and I go, go, let me go a little further. There was ten lepers, uh -huh. and, the, and the ten lepers had had, had a condition. Right. Mm -hmm. 
And then Jesus said, come here, let's have a prayer meeting. No. Well, y'all sit, come on, huh? No. no. Y'all no. sit here, amen, and I'm going to anoint each of you and put a cross <laughs> on your head. Hallelujah. When I put this cross on your head, no. hallelujah, then everybody hold hands and we go. No. no. What do you do? Said, go show he said, do what? Go show he said, go show yourself to the priest. He said, go show yourself to the priest because they was already healed of leprosy. So, so it's okay for them to go show themselves to the priest. Right. Mm -hmm. Except they wasn't healed from leprosy. They still had leprosy. They, they had leprosy and it was illegal. Right. It was illegal. Somebody say illegal. illegal. That's good, y'all paying attention. It was illegal for you to go show yourself to the priest. Right. It was illegal for you to be in the city. Right. Let alone to go show yourself to the priest. Right. Amen. And you had Amen. leprosy. Yeah. So why is Jesus telling them to go do something that's illegal? Because their condition is lying. Amen. And, and, and even though you can see the leprosy, the leprosy that you see is a lie. Amen. How do you know it's a lie? Because as soon as you walk into purpose and you walk into the promise, you're going to see a transformation in your situation that makes it evident that in fact you're healed. Amen. As they went, yeah. apostles yeah. say, as, as they, they went, they, went yeah. they were healed. Yeah. But what if they didn't win? Yeah. Right. Amen. If they didn't win, they were going to keep on having leprosy. Yeah. And they sit out there and complain and say, I don't know why Jesus didn't heal me. Jesus came to our city. He didn't heal me. I had leprosy. I was sitting right here. I was asking him to help me with my leprosy. He ain't never do nothing for me. He didn't get the oil out or nothing like that for me. That's why I don't believe in Jesus like you people say. Like there wasn't nothing wrong with Jesus. Amen. That's true. Jesus told them, go show yourself to the priest. Right. Jesus said, you don't need my hand. Right. You need your faith. Yeah. Amen. Jesus said, you don't need my hand. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Amen. Your condition is lying to you. Amen. The reason why you're still here is because you believe the lie. Amen. You will start acting different. Yeah, true. You will speak those things that be not. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I'm the father of many nations, yeah, you say. That's real. <laughs> right. Even though I have a condition. Right. Come on. Oh. Even, though, even though I'm in my current situation. Right. Most, of, most of the time when we pray, even in our prayers, we, we put a limitation on God because of our situation. Amen. Amen. We'll say, if if the Lord, if the Lord would just give me good credit, I would. <laughs> <laughs> if the Lord would just help me to get out from under all these bills, I would. And the Lord say, if you would, then I would help you to get out from under all these bills. <laughs> if you would, I would give you good credit. You, you, you're trying to put the weight on God, but really you're just trying to put the weight on God because you don't want to move. You'd rather just sit here by the pool and make excuses. <laughs> That's real. That's real. Yeah, when you get ready, when you get ready to make a move, you don't need nobody. Yeah, most of the moves y'all made, you didn't even ask God. Right. <laughs> you told God where you was going. Yeah. Asked him to meet you there. Right. Yeah. I know I'm preaching right. <laughs> you didn't ask God. If you ask God, you didn't wait for an answer. You preaching. Amen. You preaching. Oh, so you ain't got nothing to say? <laughs> All right, well, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> then you come back and say, I should have listened to my first mind. You did. Yeah. <laughs> right. You did listen to your first mind. <laughs> you should have asked God. Yeah, amen. Yeah, I love, love it when, when you ask God something, he don't say nothing. Mm -hmm. And then we say, oh well. Yeah. Lord. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I didn't hear the Lord saying nothing, so it must be all right. Well, I know maybe the Lord didn't say nothing, you just need to be still. That's right. Mm -hmm. Boy, when I listen to this later, I'm gonna shout. <laughs> the cake lady had a, the cake lady had a condition. Mm -hmm. The cake lady, the cake lady was broke, broke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The cake lady was so the cake lady was so broke, she was broke and hungry. Mm -hmm. Right. She was broke, hungry, poor. Mm -hmm. 
She said, look, this is how bad today is going to be. I'm going to make a cake and die. <laughs> when I get through making this cake, it ain't going to be enough. You know it's bad when your condition is so bad that your answer don't help. Yeah, if I'm going to die after I eat the cake, why make the cake? Right. That's true. Why you make the cake? Just, just die. She said, my situation is bad. You don't know how poor we are. We've been hungry a long time. Mm -hmm. To the point that I'm going to eat this cake and I'm still going to die. Mm -hmm. And my son going to die. Right. And then Jesus said, said look, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to call UPS. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Send y'all a whole bunch of cake. Because <laughs> you people need help. Ooh, I just got a revelation right there. Amen. In, in, in how we treat people that in need. Quote, unquote. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We treat people in need like they in need. Not like they're powerful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, true. Amen. That's true. <laughs> so we say, right, let me let me come help you because you're mm -hmm. needy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that amazing? You know, like uh, okay, time out. So so Jesus <laughs> had the multitude there, and he was getting ready to feed the multitude. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he told him to sit down. Yeah. And then he called down manna from heaven. No, he did. Uh -oh. Fed the multitude. He did it before. Yeah, he did. He called down quail from mm -hmm. east wind. Mm -hmm. Blue and quail. Mm -hmm. Right? No. And they had chicken and bread. <laughs> no? Mm -mm. I mean, we know he does this. We know he calls it to just come down and feed you right there in the wilderness. We ain't even in the wilderness. And it's 5,000 of us. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is preaching. Mm -hmm. Surely he can call fish from heaven. Mm -hmm. But he didn't. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -mm. No, he, he let them stay out there and be hungry. <laughs> Little boy. <laughs> he, let, he let them stay out there and be hungry. I'm telling you, to the point that, you know, when you hungry until somebody tell the pastor. Pastor, you've been preaching too long. Mm. <laughs> I know y'all never have this problem. I know you you don't never experience this. But some places they have that, you know. <laughs> to the point that, you know, tell Tonka, she can tell him. <laughs> <laughs> and then y'all over there texting her, tell him, tell him, shut up. <laughs> We just taking notes, Pastor. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then talk to tell me. Because <laughs> y'all think I won't get mad at her. <laughs> I was gonna say something, but you know, honor the pastor. Jesus sitting out there, he let them stay there, he let them be hungry. Huh? Till the disciples start saying, hey, hey, hey. Uh, Rabbi, <laughs> the people have been out here a long time. Maybe we should send them home. Right. Ain't that what he said? Yeah. Maybe we should send them home so they can eat. Yeah, yeah. He said, no, don't send them home, sit them down. <laughs> now, what I thought was amazing, if they had been in church all that time, they wasn't sitting down. Ain't <laughs> 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 I told y'all to shout on this. <laughs> Woo! Y'all barely make it in to sit down and sing, I shall not be moved. <laughs> like a tree planted by the water. <laughs> I shall not be, ain't gonna be no stand up. I ain't even lifting my hands. They stood up until they got hungry. Then Jesus said, sit down. See what we got. All we have, all we have, all we have is this little boy's lunch. Right. All we have is enough cake to eat and die. Right. Mm. Never enough. Mm -hmm. 
two, two fish ain't enough for me. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Let alone y'all. Right. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. the, 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 if I get the two fish, y'all gonna be hungry. <laughs> give me a piece. Amen. <laughs> if I give you a piece of my fish, you still gonna be hungry. Right. Right. Never enough according to my condition. Amen. Mm -hmm. But what did Jesus do? He, he gave thanks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They had the same, the same lunch that they had before. Mm -hmm. But he gave thanks. Mm -hmm. right. he, he, said, he said, God, thank you for us not having enough. <laughs> He didn't say, God, what we is going to do? Because we don't have enough. He said, God, thank you for this that's not enough. And then he blessed it. And then he broke it. And then he gave it. He thanked them. Then he blessed it. Then he gave it. Isn't that something? Yeah. So, 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 so if you learn how to be thankful mm -hmm. for your not enough, yeah. it's actually more than enough. Yes, it is. Hi, Bird. Hi. Thank you so much. You're going to talk back to me. Do you know that if you be thankful for your not enough, it's actually more than enough? Yes, Lord. Do you know Big Mama them been doing that for years? Yes, do, do you know Big Mama them didn't have no real job? They had a little piece of job. Yes. Amen. Yes. And, and they could figure out yes. how to feed their family yes. and the neighbor's family yes. off of not enough. Yes. That we, didn't, we don't have no enough, but what we got, we willing to share, and they would bless it. They would take beans, mm -hmm. and, and beans by itself wasn't enough. So then they put cornbread in the beans. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. <laughs> see, 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 see y'all thought they were putting cornbread in the beans because that's how it go. But you put the bread in the beans because the bread is going to fill you up. So it stretch. <laughs> what it do? So, so I know how to take not enough and work this not enough and make it more than enough to feed everybody. All I got is this little piece of turkey. All I got is these leftover green beans. And all I got is this little can of corn. And all I got is this tomatoes right here. What I'm going to do is chop all of that stuff up and put it in a pot and stick some cornbread in it. And now, baby, we having soup for them. <laughs> soup and bread. Yes, the yes. Lord has blessed yes, you. Yes. you. You were looking at your situation of not enough, but you had plenty. Yes. But you couldn't see past what you what you were looking at. Your condition was yes. lying to you. So you didn't know how to utilize what you had to maximize your results. Jesus, Jesus. And the situation kept echoing and echoing and saying, you, you're not enough. You don't have enough. And you stress yourself out mm -hmm. to the point that you give out Amen. because you believe the lie. Yes. You're actually great. Yep, true. You actually got plenty. Amen. You're actually doing wonderful. Right. Yes. But if you don't feel like you're doing good, you'll give out. Yes. Amen. That's real. That's real. Hallelujah. Amen. The oil lady was in such a You heard about the cake lady not in there with the oil lady. And the oil lady was in a worse situation. She was so bad, she was going to sell her sons. The cake lady and son, they were just going to die. The oil lady said, I'm going to sell my son into slavery. I say, this mama. I wish I had some mamas in church. I said, this, this mama say, she's going to sell her sons into slavery. Because she broke, broke, broke. She, she broke, broke, broke. She gonna sell her son into slavery so she can get oil. Yeah. Wow. Prophet say, prophet say, when well, you broke, broke, and the prophet say, don't sell, borrow. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. 
I'm gonna learn how to preach one day. The, when, when you broke, when you broke, mm -hmm. most of the time, when you broke, people don't tell you to borrow. Right. Right. Amen. Because you can't afford what you got. Right. Your current condition says that you don't have enough resources to support your life. Yeah. Right. So the last thing you want to be in is more debt. Right. Right. That's right. Amen. But the prophet said what you need to do is borrow, is borrow vessels. Mm -hmm. yeah. And not a few. Right. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Go, go get a lot of vessels and not a few. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why? Why? Why get more vessels <laughs> when this vessel I got is coming up short? Right. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a lot. Because your current situation <laughs> does not define yes. who you are. Amen. Not who you Hallelujah. will be. Right. Yes, not who you will be, but who you are. are. Yes. Now, now, now. They didn't just start making vessels when this lady started looking. Right. She already, there, there's always been vessels around. But but she, she never invested in vessels because she didn't have enough oil. Amen. Amen. She, she, didn't, she didn't have enough vessels because she didn't have enough oil. So she said to God, why would I get vessels? All I got is this little cruise of oil. Don't need no more vessels. This one is short. And God said, I know the solution. Go get more vessels. Wow. Increase your capacity. Yes, yes. And then pour the oil that's not enough in this vessel into the vessels that you're going to get. And, and the oil began to flow. Yes. And it filled up that vessel and she went to the next vessel. And the oil began to continue to flow. Hallelujah. And the oil continued to flow. Yes, yes. And the oil continued to flow until she filled up all the vessels. As soon, look at how God is. I'm trying to tell you, God is something else. As soon as she filled up the last vessel, the oil stopped. No doubt. That messes up some of y'all religion. Because y'all want the Lord to just overflow. Just mm -hmm. overflow, Lord. Lord say no. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, ain't gonna overflow. No. You ain't prepared for overflow. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. Amen. You didn't even expect flow, mm -hmm. let alone overflow. Right. <laughs> Why am I gonna waste my oil pouring all over? What that's for? Come on. Go get more vessels, and I'll send more flow. Yeah. What you're saying, God, is the reason why it ain't flowing is because you haven't created anything for him to pour into. Ooh. Oh, wow. yep. you, have, you haven't put anything in place. You haven't put anything before God for him to bless. Jesus. Because you don't want to risk. Because you don't want to be in jeopardy. Well, what if it don't work? Because that's faith. Hallelujah. The reason why it's not flowing it's because you haven't presented anything for them to pour into. I guarantee, yeah. that, that I said in the prayer this morning, I guarantee that's not one time, never, not once, however he did it. It may not have been the way I think it should have happened. It may not have been the way that you thought it should have happened. Yeah. But no matter what, there's not one time that God came up short in my life. Not Amen. once. Amen. Amen. There's absolutely no failure in him. Amen. It may not have worked out like I thought it was, but I promise you it's working together for my it good. Is. Yes, it is. And, and so what, what, what's limiting him now? What's limiting him now is I have not presented more vessels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm telling him about my condition. Mm. 
rather than presenting him with something else to feel. I'm telling them about what I'm going through rather than walking into the thing that, that I expected the God to do. So it puts a demand on him. If this be you, bid me to come. Let me get out the boat and walk on my own. Let me walk out on my own water. I don't have to. I don't, need, I don't need to walk on water and be saved. Right. Amen. But I demand something deeper in my relationship with you than just a boat type relationship. Yes, and I don't yes. just want to be just ordinary. I, I want to be in a, in, a, in a place with you that everybody don't have this. Yes, yes. But the only way I'm going to get that is I got to walk into it. God. If not, I'll stay in my current yes. situation. I'll stay in my current situation. And I'll be complaining the rest of my life. Yep. You are bigger and better than you know. You are greater than you believe. You're able to do more than you expect or more than you anticipated or more than you can imagine. But you're willing to be average and ordinary. You're willing to stay in your current condition. You're willing to blame God or your neighbor. You're willing to accept your own excuse rather than kick yourself in the butt and say, I'm going to get up from this yeah, place. Yeah. Why sit we here and die? Mm -mm. If we go into the city, they're going to kill us. <laughs> and, but maybe, maybe it'll work out. I refuse. I refuse. I'm telling you. I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pray for Damon uh -huh. until Damon make a decision yeah, not to let y'all right. stop him. Yep. Huh? Yeah. Wait a minute. We on your side. I understand. I understand, but I can't be limited by that. Amen. I can't be limited by that. Yeah. I can't be. I can't Come be limited on. because as soon as you don't show up one day in my yeah. life, Come then on. I'll be sad and depressed and say, "Ain't nobody got my back." Right. Yeah. I can't. I can't. I can't be limited like that. Right. Amen. I gotta know that if nobody else show up, yeah. Yeah. Amen. God has got an answer. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. God has got a ram, and you gotta know. You gotta know. You can't. You can't let your current condition yes. d define you. Mm -hmm. Stop calling yourself what you are, mm -hmm. and speak those things that be not. Yes. Amen. Yeah. You're not. You're not gonna be great in business. You already are. Right. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You're not. You're not gonna have a great business one day. Mm -hmm. You already do. Amen. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. Can you hear me? Do y'all need this microphone? Can you hear me now? Because here's what, here's what happens, and I'm, I'm speaking to me through you. Here's what happens. When you don't know that you already are great, people will defer how they treat you until you become great. Y'all didn't get it. When you don't know that you already are great, they'll defer how they treat you until you become great. Right, true. And they'll say, one day you're going to be good. Right. I'm good today. That's right. Amen. One, one day, one day you're going to be great, and you're going to be, I'm, I'm already great. They just don't know about me yet. That's right. Amen. They, don't know. they don't know about me yet. True. Only the difference, only difference between me, me, me tomorrow and me today is that more people don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's the only difference between right now. And everybody ought to know about it. Amen. 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 When you walk this big and you is this big, yeah. Yeah. everybody ought to know about it. Yeah. Amen. 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 They just don't know yet. They just don't know. I, I, and, and the reason why they don't know is because I ain't walking it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I said the reason why they don't know is because I ain't walking it. Yeah. Yeah. That's why when people say they say, oh, they think they something. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't know. Yeah. You don't yeah. get the memo. Right. <laughs> oh, they act like they got it going on. I do. Right. I do got it going on. I have it, got it. I do got it. Speak it. Amen. And, and I'm going I'm to I'm keep walking like I got it. Amen. Amen. And because and, and I got it. Amen. And why shouldn't I walk like I got it? And why shouldn't I act like I got it going on? And, and what should I act like? And why, why shouldn't I go there? Why shouldn't I have the best? And why shouldn't I be the best? And, and you know what? Some of y'all don't even work. Y'all ain't even worth being with me. Amen. I'm having mercy, having this conversation. <laughs> You got you got to be able to walk in that. Not arrogance. It's not arrogance. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Marquise. Because everybody else gonna leave me. Did you hear how they did? <laughs> <laughs> treat 
treat yourself like you're a million bucks, then people will begin to respect you like a million bucks person. Mm -hmm. That's true. As I close, I want you to know there are some people that respect you more than you respect yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. They see more in you than you see in yourselves. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. acting like you just ordinary, and they like, oh, you're great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When are you going to walk in? When are you going to believe the truth about you and mm -hmm. not your lying condition? I pray that you do it today. Make that change and see it happen in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.